AccuWeather.com meteorologist Henry Marcus City with AccuWeather.com meteorologist and community director Jesse Farrell. And we're out here on top of a mountain uh, in eastern Center County. We actually live in, in central Center County. And uh, where we're standing is where a lightning strike hit during a uh, supercell thunderstorm about, what, three nights ago? Two no yeah, Tuesday night. Something like that. And uh, there's a tornado that, that passed um, probably down a little ways down the hill over here. There's actually some very good tornado damage. And we'll show you some other videos here. But this is interesting because we found a lightning strike. Actually, one of our blog readers found where a lightning strike hit and uh, burnt the ground to the point where we actually got some of this. You know more about this than I do. Yeah, these are called fulgurites, basically little tubes in the uh, in the ground that were formed when the sand was fused into glass by the lightning, which is about 50,000 degrees or so. We're standing right in the path of the lightning strike. Right. Unfortunately, there were some little animals here which were harmed by the lightning strike because it happened so quickly. We saw a centipede, snake, chipmunk, and those types of things that just couldn't get away from it. No. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what's interesting, we're, just, we're trying to figure out how the lightning actually occurred here. Um, in front of us, there is... Uh, two very, or actually kind of one very tall communication tower. Communication tower. Then there's these telephone poles that run along here. There's one pine tree that's, that got broken right at the base, a uh, healthy pine tree at that, got broken right at its base sitting up there. And then the lightning strike starts up behind the camera here, comes right down along the ground. And you can actually see in the path where it was the hottest. I mean, it must have been instantaneously 50,000 degrees. And we find all, we've been finding all kinds of interesting uh, crystals and these fulgurites and all kinds of things melted in this path. And it goes all the way down the hill to the telephone pole right there, and it kind of ends at the telephone pole. So somehow the lightning struck between these towers and that telephone pole right, right along the ground right here. And it's going to fall. And it <laughs> singed the bushes all along here. Yeah. And if not for the heavy rain, probably would have started a brush fire. That's the way many brush fires are started. Yeah. So this has been a very interesting, I don't know, I've never seen this before. This is fascinating no, to me to see is... this and to see how the lightning crawls along the ground like that. You know, you, you always hear about people who are out playing golf and they get, mm -hmm. um, hit by lightning and the lightning hits over there and then travels to the ground and you can actually feel it going through the ground. This right, is a classic right. case of how lightning can travel through the ground and it's hot. I'll tell you one thing, you look at this, I know it's hard to see on the camera, but when you look at this, that's hot. I mean, it's white, everything's white in the center of it, so you know it got hot real quickly. Yep. So, this is just fascinating. We'll have more, some videos we'll have on the tornado as well in our blogs and uh, it's just been a fascinating time. Huh, Jesse? Great, great little experiment here. It is. All right, that's what we have for here. I'm AccuWeather.com meteorologist Henry Marcus City with Jesse, Jesse Farrell. Farrell.